four more books getting ready to be sent to be graded. If you want to know what they are, stick around. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And yes, it is that time of the month, and no, not that type, you perverts. It is the time where I send in four comics to PGX to go get graded. And as usual, I want to show you what they are before I send them out, give my predictions on what I think the grades might be, and hear your opinion of what you think. And they should be back within three to four weeks, at least by the end of this month. So before I do... Especially if you're new, I just want to let you know that I did work out a deal with PGX where if you are subscribed to my channel and you would like to use their service, you don't have to. There's plenty of other grading services you can use. But if you do and you're a subscriber of mine, you can get 10% off of your submission. Um, it includes modern or older books like Golden Age and Silver Age. It includes dry cleaning and pressings and also includes signature verification. Um, the only thing you want to make sure of is you don't add 10% off on the shipping and the insurance. That has to be done separately. So there are going to be details for the code that you can use in the link below in the description. Check it out if you're interested, and if not, maybe at least you'll enjoy these videos. So let's get into the four comics I'm going to be submitting this month. So this one, uh, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. Uh, I wish it was the first print, but I'll take the next best thing, which is the second print. But this one is signed, and there's a sketch by Kevin Eastman. And I love the fact that they did it in the gold ink. It looks really good. Now, there are some breaking, color breaking creases along the spine. There's a little indent at the bottom corner. So this one's definitely not going to be coming anywhere in a 9 range. Um, I would say it would probably come out before pressing and dry cleaning around a 7.0 to a 7.5, which I'd still be happy with. I paid uh, $275 for that book, so definitely not a bad book to get graded. And I also want to make sure I put a book that has a signature so you can see how they do the verification, because that's done in-house along with the pressings and dry cleanings. Uh, this one I got in a four-comic deal from a sub from an eBayer. Uh, this is Fantastic Four issue number 12, which is the first meeting of the Hulk and the Thing. And this is such an iconic cover. It's definitely one of those classic covers. Uh, this is a book, if you get your hands on it, try and get it when you can, uh, especially with the potential of the Fantastic Four, you know, being acquired by the Disney Corporation. Any Fantastic Four books are going to, you know, get up there, but the key ones are definitely going to be more desirable. Now, again, this is a lower grade, but even in low grades, this book is worth hundreds of dollars. So try and find a deal. Uh, this one is, um, I would say, about a 1.8 to a 2.0. Uh, I paid $150 for it. You can see along the edge here, there's a lot of chipping. Um, there is a little bit of a spine roll. There's a piece missing right here. So um, a, br a pressing and a dry cleaning is absolutely going to help this one. So how much it goes up really depends. But overall, the cover presents pretty well. I think the majority of the damage is right here. And there's some um, color breaks along the spine, but the staples are intact. And that's the most important part. So that's number two. Number three, absolutely love this book. It's probably the closest I will be able to get to Hulk number one. And this is Hulk number two, which is still a very key issue because it's the first appearance of the Hulk being green. Because in Hulk number one, he's actually a gray color. So, I mean, everybody pretty much knows the Hulk as, you know, his with his green color. So this one is a very significant book. And also the second appearance of the Hulk. So still not bad. Um, I paid $600 for this one. Um, this one's in pretty good condition. I think the major thing is right here and right here, there's these dark spots. I don't know how that happened. I mean, obviously, I haven't had it since the beginning. But there's some color breaks. There's a bunch of creases that break color down the bottom. Uh, there's one major one here and here. There's another one that goes all the way across here. 
and uh, down in the corner there. So that is going to lower the grade. I would say this book in the current condition it's in is around a 3.0 to a 3.5 range. I mean, as you could see, the colors really pop out, especially where it says the word Hulk. Uh, the reds look beautiful. So we'll see where it goes and what a pressing can do. I paid $600 for that book. So that's another book I couldn't wait to get graded. And last but not least, my holy grail. This is one I couldn't believe I got for the price I got it for. This is showcase issue number 22, uh, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Green Lantern and the first appearance of Hal Jordan. Uh, love this cover. I think the reason I got it for the price I did is the seller on eBay, instead of writing showcase, they wrote shoe case, S-H-O-E. So if somebody was specifically typing in showcase 22, this book would not come up. So there was actually only one other bidder, and this closed because it came from, I think, I forget what it was, Romania or somewhere over in Eastern Europe, and the auction was closing like around 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, and since I'm basically an insomniac, I'm always up at that time, I was the second bidder, waited until the last second, and uh, the original bid was 7.99, and I won it for 810, which included free shipping. Now, if you saw the video of this one, they basically put it in an envelope, which I was really upset about, but it did not get damaged. I mean, it kind of bent a little bit, but not to the point where it broke any color. But uh, this is a lower grade, but still, the staples are intact. Um, I like the date stamp on the older books, but the, you could see right over here, there's a chunk missing as far as the color is. It doesn't go past the cover. Uh, a couple of little spine ticks, especially on the bottom corner. Now, the major part, and I don't know how much this is going to take away from the grade, but from here to here, so about an inch, it's split on almost every page. So I don't know how much this is going to lower the grade. So I'm going to grade this one pretty low, and we'll see where it goes from there. So I'm going to say um, it's going to come back around a 1.5 to a 2.0. Um, I definitely know the, uh, the dry cleaning will help this book because it is a little dirty especially on the back and the pressing may help it a little bit but obviously that can't help with the um with the color breaks but even if this comes back a 1.5 i'm still going to be happy but i think it is going to be a little bit better than that so by the time you watch this i will have sent this out it's it goes across country so it'll take about three or four days uh it takes about two and a half weeks for them to grade it and do all the other things to these books getting them pressed and dry cleaned, and then send them back. So it should be by the end of the month, I will have the next video for you guys to see. And I will make sure I'm not going to check the email this time. So this way I can't know the grades, because I don't want to know. It's more fun when I learn with you guys. So I'm going to make sure that happens. So that's it. I hope you appreciated this video. I'd love to hear your comments. Tell me what you think. Keep waiting for deals. Deals can always be found. I mean, this book right here, even in a low grade, is over $1,000. So I managed to get it at least $200, if not more, off of what most people are paying for it, just because of good timing. So uh, weekends sometimes are good, late at night, holidays, special events. Never give up, because I show all the time books that are going below what the average person is paying on eBay. You just got to put in the effort, and you just got to have fun with it, and eventually you'll get rewarded. So that's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if there was any improvement in the way you could see the camera. Um, I'm trying to make adjustments because all the settings were set to the original camera that was built into this laptop, and I added some extra lights. So let me know if you see any improvement. I appreciate the honest feedback. Uh, hit the like button if you can. Hit the share button if you're so, so kind. Hit the subscribe button. Just don't hit the belly button because we know that's not nice. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. I'll see you next video, and once again, he can't do crap because that's yellow. We've already been through it, yada, 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 end scene.